everyone, this is Teresa Vitale, and I'd like to welcome you to the Taste of Epcot, the 25th anniversary of Food and Wine Festival. Today, Cami and I will be bringing you around the world for a glimpse of all 20 marketplaces at this limited time food and wine festival. We're excited to show you, so come on in. The world awaits. Okay, everyone, we finally made it through security. It's a little warm out. Um, we passed a temperature and health screening by Advent Health with flying colors. So that's always a good thing. And uh, we're gonna go on a little walk talk of Epcot today. My name is uh, Cam Vitale. You know, put it up on the screen for, uh, for those who don't have their, their volume up. That's me, the Epcot Cuisine. We're gonna take a quick walk around here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. We're walking right down the middle. We're going to turn left because I can see Islands of the Caribbean. No line, Islands of the Caribbean was here last year. Um, they have the Ropa Vieja again, jerk spice, uh, jerk spice chicken, which I really loved. And uh, Flan Coco, it's, it's, it's a new, or Flan, yeah, Flan Coco, Co Cochio. It's a passion fruit cake with coconut flan, which uh, replaced last year's uh, casitos. But uh, don't worry, we have a video for casitos so that you can make them at home if you like. Um, we have a, a beer and a couple, uh, a beer, a wine, and a mojito. Always really nice. Islands of the Caribbean really catches your eye. Hey, that guy's shirt matches the sign. Earth Eats made it to the main stage. Vegetarians are up in front here early on in the Food and Wine Festival. This year it looks like they have a farmhouse meatball, the burger slider, which they had last year, and a dessert, chocolate pudding terranium. Uh, they have a couple of non-alcoholic drinks there and a violet lemonade ale from Titusville, Florida. Sounds pretty good. Uh, last year they also had a, a cottage pie, which has been replaced, which is great. We didn't really like that one too much. And Mexico, that is a ribeye taco you're looking at there. What an outstanding snack. It is also a uh, mango smoky margarita. The pork tostada uh, was a very strong entry from last year. And uh, they have some new beers, no Corona this year. It's a Tola Martisanal. Uh, I think they're out of, they're out of Cancun, I believe. The sangria, the classic margarita, which is always good. And again, the, the mango smoky margarita, which we will have a review on. So let's cruise right along towards Norway. There is no Norwegian food option this year. Uh, there's also uh, the bakery is closed. So we're just going to keep going on towards China. China had a number of good uh, offerings last year it's a shortened menu the chicken dump dumplings and my favorite that mongolian beef bao bun those are uh your food options we also have jasmine beer the, the punch and the happy peach china had ribs last year that were really really good i'm uh, sad that they're not here Cruising along to the Alps, no menu yet, coming this fall. Last year they had a uh, warm Swiss cheese plate with a potatoes and a baguette, venison stew, and a blueberry almond frangipan tart, which uh, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, Africa, also a new and updated menu. Look at that, vegan corn and white beans from Spicy Kenyan, and a skewered shrimp and uh, citrus couscous. Tusker Lager is always refreshing. Had the jam jar sweet Siraz. It was a little bit too sweet. 
and uh, everybody's favorite Dasani bottled water. All right, and we're continuing our walk towards Germany, another great spot. There's no uh, pretzels this year and the, the little beer area outside is closed. The pavilion is uh, looking just as enticing as ever. Short lines, which we love. And I'll give you a, a hint, here's some free advice. Just go up to the counter and ask for pasta gratin. Don't try to pronounce that. Uh, the Rotwurst, which we also reviewed really, really good this year. Pretzel roll made it outstanding. And the old standby vanilla strudel, a very uh, good way to round out your German. Fest beer lager was outstanding. I like that t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> it's been very popular today. <laughs> Oh. Complimented the roast bratwurst really well. Uh, there's also a couple of Rieslings. The little wolf Pinot Noir, which you can get in the, the fine color as well. You know, nice offering from Germany this year. Oh, and one of the other things uh, from the 25th anniversary is uh, the character appearances. Yep, they're waving at us. Uh, looks like Spain is going to open later this fall. Uh, last year they had paella, charcuterie in a cone, and a seafood salad, uh, a couple of nice wine options, and, and a beer. So hopefully they'll bring some of those things back. Doing a quick look around here. Hi, guy. Let's move on to Italy. Italy is one of our favorite uh, places also to eat. Uh, we all eat, love Italian food, of course, but uh, they do a pretty good job at this food booth every year. Even if the items look pretty straightforward, uh, this year they have the margarita pizza, uh, which has whole tomatoes on top, nice, uh, thin crust, cheese tortellini and a vodka sauce with bacon, provolone, ricotta, fontina, and Parmesan cheese really well balanced, highly recommend, and uh, chocolate uh, covered cannoli. So that uh, also is a pretty strong trifecta. There's a Peroni, the, the Roman beer, and then uh, you know six or seven other offerings there. The Gabbiano Chianti is something I would normally drink at home. I felt it was a little bit high priced uh, at $10. You can get a whole bottle at the store for I think seven. So uh, they're definitely um, offering more drinks here because the, the normal wine area, the Enoteca is closed currently. There's the new barbecue uh, smokehouse, the Regal Eagle uh, smokehouse and the smokers out front there. It's brand new if you haven't tried it. Uh, they cover barbecue from all around uh, the United States. So you can get uh, all of your classic favorites. Ooh, a mailbox, look at that. I wish I had something to, maybe a postcard to drop in there. And it works. Turn of the century. Classic Disney. The America Pavilion, looking good. Hops and Barley is the only uh, offering this year. So the little uh, block, ha block and Hans is not open. Hops and Barley is featuring uh, the lobster roll from New England. A Southern Seafood Broil, which is a new offering. And a uh, three beers, and uh, one of my favorite wines, Broadside Cabernet, at $5, that is a bargain, and the carrot cake to go with it. Uh, carrot cake they had last year, uh, it's always good, it's a little round um, you know, cake with some frosting on top of it, nice treat. Street corn funnel cake, Sounds amazing. Cookies and cream funnel cake. I like funnel cake in case you didn't know. But uh, let's keep on moving and, and see what's coming up next. Looks like Japan. Japan has a temp uh, tempura donbori, which is a shrimp and a vegetable tempura 
puffy ramen, and a sushi flower pot, which um, is visually appealing. We do have a booth review right now of Japan and Citrus Blossom, so click that link. And uh, the Kirin beer is always my favorite uh, Japanese beverage. Here we go, Morocco. Morocco is a surprise all the time. They have actually put out some pretty good food. I love the baklava. That was there last year. The spicy hummus fries look really visually intriguing, also a holdover. But they have a beef kepta pocket this year, uh, replacing their, uh, their steak flatbread, which is nice. Uh, the Mediterranean beer, I believe, is a casa beer, which is a light lager, uh, very refreshing on a hot day like this. And uh, the, the red wine is, I think, a little bit uh, on the sweet side. The sangria and the mimosa royale are also rounding out the drink options. It's a little bit busier in this part. Of course, we're heading towards Brazil. I mean, my favorite part of that Brazilian area is the cheese bread. Hopefully it's on the menu. There it is, shortened menu. Brazilian cheese bread and crispy pork belly. Those are two holdovers from last year. Um, the Capraina also goes really well with that pork belly. Actually, it goes good with anything, even on its own. Highly recommend the beer and the water, same as last year. You need to make your own Brazilian cheese bread. There's a recipe for you right there. We, we show you how to make it easy in the home. There is France. Looking great. Uh, France has the onion tart with the goat cheese again. That is actually a really savory treat. Uh, they have braised duck with a uh, bit of mashed sweet potatoes. That's a, a new entry. And uh, Cronenborg Blanc. We had the regular Cronenborg earlier, so that's a pale lager. Really nice. Uh, and the Bordeaux is always a good choice, especially at six bucks. Now, uh, the Rosé Frozen Slushy won't hurt anybody either. And uh, you may have noticed uh, Avion Water here. So the, the, one of the only pavilions that does not have Dasani, and for good reason. and through the UK, taking a look around. Everybody's phone booths. No line for the phone booth, hop in there. To the World Show Place. This is where they held Party of the Senses last year and a couple of other events, all the food events. They're not doing them this year, so they moved some booths inside. Uh, one of the best parts of this is the air conditioner and the obvious shade from the sun. So festival favorites, not all the booths are open, but the Spanakopita from Greece, big time favorite, uh, the seafood pie from Ireland, and uh, the pierogies from Poland. Uh, all in one line, really great idea. I applaud this idea by Disney. Uh, they also have a, a couple of drinks in here as well. So our recommendations, the uh, Frog's Leap Zinfandel is a great expression of fruit. The Cabernet Franc is also a very dry red wine, tastes great. And uh, from California, the Conundrum Red Blend. I, I like red wines um, even on a hot day. Those are a really uh, great, great um, opportunities to experience wines at, at a pretty decent price. So cruising down to mac and cheese, who doesn't love mac and cheese? So that gourmet is pretty much garlic and fine herbs. I had that, it was really super good. Uh, the buffalo chicken mac and cheese, also good. So the chicken is kind of on the side and you mix it up on your own. And the same with the lobster mac and cheese, uh, which also received pretty high ratings. Uh, I think I may also want to try that uh, sausage and peppers mac and cheese, but uh, it was a little bit too hot. So uh, grabbing a, uh, a Radler, there, which is a, you know, a beer, Hefeweizen mixed with lemonade, 
was really uh, you know nice to take a, a little bit of the the dryness out of the, the day. Desserts and champagne. The liquid nitro chocolate cake pops with and without Twix or M&Ms. They look like big lollipops more than a traditional tiny cake pop. So at $4, pretty good. Uh, we had the Twix, loved it. Uh, frozen s'mores, also a good choice. You could get a uh, baka whipped cream on it, which is great. Um, if you're feeling a little flashy, if you're uh, if you're balling today, Dom Perignon, 32 bucks. That is a sipping size. I think it's a six ounce pour or a four ounce pour. Uh, the good news is if you don't like it, you're only out 32 bucks. If you buy a whole bottle, you'll be set back over a hundred. So high class Disney. The, the food at the Appleseed Orchard, exactly the same as last year, the charcuterie and cheese plate, which is a little bit of a surprise. Um, that Apple Jack uh, syrup mixture is really outstanding. Caramel apple popcorn was also a, a pretty good treat, as long as uh, you're okay carrying around a little red apple filled with popcorn. The drink side, the frozen apple pie was a really, really nice treat. They um, have real apples in the bottom with a uh, fruit juice and a graham cracker top. Uh, I also want to try that Ghost in the Machine double IPA out of Louisiana. That sounds great. And uh, the Banana Bliss hard cider uh, sounded interesting. They tried to sell it to me at the counter, uh, but I wasn't into it for that particular time. We, we went with the frozen apple pie and the Tropicana and Citrus IPA. So hopefully we'll be able to make it back and do a couple more. Uh, the apple blossom sky may also wind up in a review here pretty short. Moving on to Canada. They got a little facelift in their pavilion. It's looking really good. Uh, same menu as last year, bacon and cheddar soup with the pretzel roll. That was a win. And of course, the, the filet mignon. If you get a good piece, it's, it's a, an outstanding value. Uh, we once or twice got uh, ones that were a little bit cooler and, and maybe not as tender as the one that we had today. Highly recommend the filet mignon. Um, if you like a sweet wine, the ice wine is a, a nice uh, treat on a summer day. It's a little expensive. Uh, the Merlot is also a, a nice drink to pair with the steak uh, from the Canadian Pavilion. Citrus Blossom, so we have uh, reviews of this. Both of the lobster tail and the cit uh, crispy citrus chicken, great flavor, very well balanced on both of them. And the coconut key lime ale was appropriately balanced as well. It had a nice hoppiness, but it also uh, you know, had that little bit of uh, sweet tart from the, from the key lime. And that orange wine slushy with orange sunshine uh, will be in a review also as well here in short order. Uh, wouldn't be a day without Disney ducks. I know we're not supposed to feed them, but they know where they get their food from, that's for sure. And Hawaii. Hawaii has been slightly moved but uh, still has some of the same great items that we're always used to. The Kahlua pork slider, we'll have a review on that. And the teriyaki glaze spam hash, which sounds weird, but everybody says it's good. So I think we should try that. Um, that Maui Brewing Company, the pineapple mono wheat, I didn't try that yet, but we definitely will. And the Alani uh, sunrise, which I felt was a little bit sweet, but uh, others did not. Oh, and the refreshment port. The poutine is actually pretty good. It's I think it's here most of the year. They also have the, the full whip pineapple and that Zing Zang Bloody Mary. I think that's a special uh, that they're doing this year. Check out Simmering Sips. That strawberry uh, soft serve is outstanding. Love the waffle cone. I was a little weirded out by the plant-based banana bread. I might try that. 
but uh, we did not today. Four mimosas, really uh, nice. They should have a flight. We're happy to see you too. And that is it. Do not forget to uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, of course. Uh, we're going to be getting really in-depth with the reviews of uh, the various booths. We don't want you to miss any of that information as we uh, release it. And as Disney opens up the menu and more of the locations at the 25th anniversary Taste of Epcot Food and Wine Festival, from July 15th until I'm done eating.